hello dear drugstore friends. Today I want to tell you about a great rock and roll story, how drugstore was signed. It's really an incredible story. So back in 94 we had done about five gigs only and Darren who had just joined the band, he managed to get us a, a gig at the garage. The garage was like quite exciting for us because it was a proper venue with a proper stage, capacity, I don't know, three, four hundred people. We weren't headlining, we were um, supporting a band called The Senseless Things, but we weren't, we weren't even the main support, you know, there was The Senseless Things, there was another band supporting, another support, and then Drugstore, the first band on. But we thought, this is a great gig, let's do it. Probably, uh, as you know, Michael, our original drummer, uh, was from America. So he only had a tourist visa, so every six months he had to uh, leave the UK, go to the continent, spend a couple of days in either Belgium or France, and then return to the UK and get another six months tourist visa. So the week of the gig, uh, his visa expired, but we thought it's not going to be a problem, uh, he's just going to go to Belgium and return in time for the gig. But it wasn't to be. On the week of the gig, Michael went to Belgium and on his return to the UK, uh, he was uh, sent away. He was deported at Heathrow Airport. Why was he deported? Because uh, they decided to check his luggage and uh, as a tourist they found it rather bizarre that he had drumsticks, a snare, a couple of cymbals, <laughs> a tambourine and a shaker, so he was deported. I was devastated, major drama at the drugstore cave because I thought, God, we're going to have to cancel uh, this fantastic gig at the garage. So I rang Darren up and I said, Darren, cancel the gig. There's absolutely no way we can do it with just guitar and bass and with no drums. But Darren said, look, this is going to be the first time I'm going to play with you. I think we should still do it, you know, even without the drums and it's going to be fine. I said, no, it's going to be ridiculous. No, nah, it's going to be fine. What? In the end, we decided to do it. So Friday came, we turned up at the garage and uh, we didn't even have a dressing room, we had no drinks, we had no rider. So I hopped off across the road, there's an off-license, and I remember very clearly um, turning to the guy at the off-license and saying, what's the cheapest wine you've got? He said, well, there's this mini bottle of uh, a wine called 2020, it's the cheapest. It's the wine that is drank by um, drug addicts and drunk cards, alcoholics in the streets. And I said, fine, that's the one I want. <laughs> um, so we did the gig and it went down pretty well. Place wasn't busy, there were about 50 people there. So we go backstage, we're packing our gear up and these two guys walked in. One introduced himself as, I'm Simon, I'm the A&R Go Discs. And the other guy, this taller guy, very handsome, uh, said, I'm Andy McDonald, I'm the president of Go Discs and I'm about to change your life. And I, Whoa! <laughs> I looked at that and said, what? He said, yes, you don't believe fairy tales happen, but I'm going to prove to you that fairy tales, rock and roll fairy tales, do happen. I want you to come into my office tomorrow, I want you to sign this mega contract, and uh, your life is going to turn upside down. You're never going to be drinking uh, 2020 wine on stage anymore, and uh, you're going to have more fun than you can imagine. And indeed, it turned out to be true. The next day, couldn't believe it, we went to go discs, and there was a contract on the table, and there was a bottle of this really expensive wine, uh, Chateau Neuf du Pape. And they said, that's what you're going to be drinking from now on. So uh, this story uh, really proves that every now and again, you know, this incredible event happens and it completely uh, changes your life. But well, this little song is about um, when fairy tales don't happen. You wanted love. You wanted fame. A lovely pied a terre in Paris or Manhattan. But after all, and in the end, you're gonna have to face that it ain't gonna happen. Cause life is just a narrow stream. It always turns red when you want green And all the laws of probability 
already know that you ain't gonna win. You wanted love, you wanted fame, a lovely pied a terre in Paris or Manhattan. But after all, and in the end, you're gonna have to face that it ain't gonna happen. Pied-à-terre in Paris or Manhattan.